All right, here we are. Uh, mailbag is going to start in just one minute. All right, I hope everybody can hear me. Uh, I am uh, going to check the Discord here and make sure everything looks like it's all right. Check the camera angles. Hey, come back. Come here. That looks basically OK to me. All right, come here, buddy. What's going on around here, huh? All right, well, kind of having a slow morning. I've already had so much uh, coffee, and it doesn't seem like it's kickstarting anything the way it ought to, but uh, I do see reports that you guys can hear me, so we are just going to get going. Uh, where is where's that camera pointed? I can see all these kids are playing on the climbing wall. Isn't that cute? Oh, you got a stinky butt. I think um, the raw, uh, not raw chicken, that would be gross. Uh, the chicken that we feed these kids uh, has, has been disagreeing with them. And since we switched them off the chicken, their poop has gotten much better. Uh, that time when I say, I, I mean the two youngest, uh, Squall and Wellingtons, unfortunately they've been sneaking some chicken the last couple days. And sure enough, uh, Wellington seems to be leaking uh, right now, in fact. Uh, let me get a wipe real quick for him. Oh, well, well, come back, buddy. Come on now. Where'd you go? Oh, wow. You got away from me. Yeah, fooled me, buddy. All right, come here. Let's just give you a quick wipe. There we go. Okay. That's it. You didn't need much. It wasn't bad. I already had to change my shirt once this morning because of him, though. Uh, all right, so what's news this week? Um, our mom cats, uh, Serenity and uh, Puddles, went to the vet and got their spays this week, and they both seem like they're recovering just fine. They're both really young moms and uh, just bounced right back. Then um, the two youngest kids, Squaw and Wellington, went to the vet for their checkup and their first vaccines, and they also did great. Um, just, you know, just they're in fine health as well, as far as we can tell. So everything's all good. Um, you also know that the uh, older kittens, everybody has been adopted and gone home, except for uh, we have Spatula and her mom are getting adopted together, wherever Nibbles is. She was just here. Uh, they're getting adopted together, but not for another couple of weeks before they get picked up. And then Teaspoon, of course, uh, not going anywhere yet, and we still haven't quite planned uh, you know, when and, and where. So. That's pending, um, but I think that's all. So let's just get right into it. I think we're going to try to limit ourselves to the hour today. Um, that way I can spend some time with DJ, who has their first weekend off in forever. And pretty excited about that. Uh, here we have a postcard from Strasbourg, uh, which I'm surely mispronouncing just like I always do, but that's fine. We're all used to that. And it says, fabulous town, went to Germany next door for dinner. Seen multiple cats along the trip. No street cats. Smiley face from Piff and Taylor. Piff, thanks again for thinking of us. We got your I'm going home soon card before we got this one, so probably came a little out of order. 
Also, I gotta zoom this camera back out because we've got Bud is going crazy. He's very good at running on that wheel. Oh my goodness, I think now you can see it. Uh, of course, now he's settled down. That's fine. Uh, he'd only need a little bit of encouragement to really get going on there. This is beautiful, by the way, and it's so crazy to think of the idea of, of you know, hopping to another country, uh, I assume, to, for dinner. That's uh, not something I've ever done. Um, all right, next up, uh, was there anything on the outside here? No, I don't think so. This is beautiful. It's like a block print uh, or watercolor or something of a beautiful, wonderful cat with a little bird sitting on his back, and the bird... The cat's walking through a field of little gold leaf clovers, and the bird on his back is holding a four leaf clover. That's a, that's a really cool little piece of art. Um, I love it. Oh, and there's a nice uh, donation here for the Kitten Academy. I really appreciate that as well. I'm going to put that, I assume that's what it's for. We'll find out. Put that right there. It says, Dear Mr. A, thank you for taking such good care of all the cats and kitties at the Academy, and especially the ones that have required so much extra care. Wellington, Squall, and Sweet Little Teaspoon, you are truly awesome. From Joanna. Uh, Joanna, thank you so much. I think that's uh, how you s say your name. It's a, a little hard to read, but that's okay. Um, uh, thank you so much. That's very generous of you, too. That's a very nice donation, and I really appreciate it. That's, that's super kind of you. And, you know, I was, I'd do what I was going to do anyway. Um, but uh, it's sure nice to have the support and help of, of all of you. I, I, I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, this is apparently Cat with Bird by Tadashi Yura, uh, that's U-R-A, um, from 2015, and it's Sumi ink on washi paper, uh, and the original is 12 by 20. That's got to just be beautiful. Cat with Bird, Tadashi Yura. I, the piece of art is just amazing. That's lovely. Uh, thank you so much for sending a, just a beautiful card. I really appreciate it. Okay, uh, then we have a note here from April in Asheville. And it's sealed with a rainbow. And it, it's thick, too. I wonder if it's one of those pop-up cards. Uh, I think it might be. It's something. Let's see. It's something, he says. Yeah, you know, everything is something. Everything that is something is something. Uh, all right, it's an elephant. It's a little 3D elephant, and it's holding a congratulations sign. He's very cute. Uh, it says, let the Oz begin. It's a boy. All right. Congratulations, it's a boy. Good morning, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and everyone in the KA world. Happy Catter Day. I'm beyond thrilled to announce the arrival of our newest family member. He is a two and a half year old brown mackerel tabby named Jojo, Joey or Joe. He has gorgeous green eyes, but don't worry, Eddie, they're a different shade than yours. He was a former colony cat in South Carolina and was too friendly to release after being trapped and neutered. He found his way to a shelter due to his age, but he is exactly what I was looking for. It's been seven weeks since we lost our Baxter and G has been missing him. He's, oh wow, uh, time to find him a friend. My big boy has too much love to share and to be an only pet and I was looking for a good match for him. Like so many people, I went to the pet store for food and came home with a cat. Boy, I know that feeling. Um, I played with all the kittens, of course, but I was looking for an older gentleman with better manners, and this guy picked me. It was love at first sight as soon as he curled in my lap and started purring. I'll be looking for some great homemade toys at KA Con next month and can't wait to meet everyone. It's only a few weeks away, and I'm looking forward to our live concert with the world's greatest recorder band, Jubilation. I guess they're, uh, I didn't know that they were still uh, a thing this year. That's, um, that's great. Uh, grab the nearest kitten and give them some spoogles for me and my boys, and... As always, Pet Kittens and Ramble on April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Toffee Cat. Thank you, April. I'm looking forward to KACON next month as well. Uh, it should be really fun, and uh, it's nice to hear that we are once again going to have the recorder band there, uh, as well as I know Sarah Don is going to make an appearance, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we get to do uh, the usual sort of Jeopardy and stuff. The Jeopardy is always my favorite part, uh, although I don't... Uh, typically play, uh, uh, when I do play, I don't do very well, but uh, it's still just so much fun, all the, the, uh, the um, yeah, it's a, it's a good time, so, all right, uh, looking forward to all of that, but in the meantime, let's open some mail, let's see how much of this we can get through today and how much we need to push off until tomorrow, well, who knows, we might do pretty well here, let's see, all right, we have a bag in a bag, thanks Amazon, but hopefully a note here, and the note says, enjoy your gift. Oh, from Mishi. All right, Mishi, 
let's see. I think Mishi anyway. That's who I'm giving credit for. And inside the inside bag, you have another bag. Oh, I'm kidding. Um, come on now. I can't even get it open. There we go. All right. Oh, oh, it's Yow Catnip. All right. And it is, oh, it's two little crazy bugs. Uh, the ones that have the little wild eyes and the crinkly wings. And they're very cute little tiny catnip toys. Because there's two of them, I assume it's for uh, Wellingtons and Squall. Uh, I just go by the numbers there. Wow, that's some strong catnip. Now that it's out of the bag, I can really smell it. Who let the catnip out of the bag? Uh, <laughs> uh, Wellington's going to check his out. Right meow. They are so sweet. Squall and Wellington's both are just the sweetest little things now. And uh, really desperate to see me and see their food every morning. Now that they aren't staying with us every night. Uh, it's uh, It's been nice, though. It's been kind of a relief. Um... And they're so snuggly. I, I'm sure he's not going to give you an example right now, but they just love to rub on my face, and they both like to lick my nose uh, inside and out quite a bit, uh, which is ridiculous. And, oh, you're still kind of very leaky, kind of very leaky. Uh, where's that? Here, I just put this away. Maybe you should go find the litter box. You probably don't know where it is down here. Come here, buddy. Let me show him real quick where the litter box is. And if I see Squall, I should show her too. Come here, pal. You're going to want to use this. All right, check that out. Is that what you're looking for? Find your way back over here when you're done. All right. Uh, usually our vet recommends chicken when a cat has uh, pooping problems or digestive issues. So in this case, I think it's uh, the opposite way. Uh, that chicken really doesn't sit well with them. But the new low seems like it does. So we just got to make sure that they stop sneaking in and eating the chicken. All right, well, uh, let's see. I don't know how to open this, and I'm trying to be careful because it's kind of a, you know, I don't want to cut through anything. There's definitely no knife guard in here. Um, but it is a mystery how this is all wrapped up in plastic. All right, oh, I got to the bottom of it. Okay, one way or another. It kind of went through the side there. That's fine. Uh, it is, I see, uh, pineapple socks. They're very cute. Uh, pineapple halves. And they're beautiful little pineapples. And then there's a note and it says, Mr. A. Maggie, I don't think those are for you. Happy Father's Day to you. And it's got all these cats wearing cool party gear. Uh, little hats and glasses and some in ties even. Aw, and we've got a sheet full of little black cat stickers here. Happy, oh, with best wishes on your, and uh, it says your birthday is crossed out, though. It says Father's Day. Uh, happy Father's Day to a cool cat dad. Enjoy these socks sized perfectly for you. As neighbors, we enjoy K.A. with our cats. Vinny, think barrel and spatch. And Jean Louise, think custard with a chocolate milk mustache. Oh, that sounds cute. Hopefully you'll get a little slow spell before the next blessed class. Thank you for sharing KA kittens. Um, thank you for sharing KA with us, Elizabeth and Megan in Texas. Well, Elizabeth and Megan, thank you so much. I appreciate the stickers. I need to set those aside somewhere so they don't go with the card. So I'll just put them here with the socks and they'll get added to my sticker. Uh, currently sticker collection, uh, someday to be sticker deployment. Uh, yeah, I do, I do hope I get a little bit of a breather before the next class. I had the most vivid dream last night. I don't usually have uh, dreams that I remember or talk about, but... Uh, it is sort of relevant that uh, as I was waking up this morning, the dream that I had just had was about going out to like a park and finding 12 little like Wellington type kittens uh, of all different colors that uh, needed rescuing. And I was going to bring them all home and take care of all 12 of them. And it sounded like a really big job. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, having woken up now to think about it, I'm like, oh, man, there's just no way. <laughs> if, the, if that actually happened, I would definitely need to, like, find help uh, and get some other uh, fosters involved, I think. Because that's just too many. The, trying to deal with, uh, you know, two of them um, with the, the constant feedings and the being up all night and everything, it is a lot of work. Uh, so... That's uh, without the help of a mom cat, anyway. It is, uh, it's really a lot of work. 
Uh, so anyway, yeah, I do hope that we get a little bit of a breather before our next class, but uh, it won't be too long before it's time for us to start really thinking about that. All right, well, this is, just says a gift for you. Um, that's all it says. Oh, this is also from Mishi. Okay, so again, I don't know exactly who it's for, but it is a more Yao catnip. This one is the crayons. It's a single set of three crayons, so uh, I guess I've got my work cut out for me deciding where that's supposed to go. But without any further instruction, uh, it will definitely go to endowments. So let me know if you want. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That Yao catnip is good stuff, and the kitties all appreciate it. Maggie's just going to sit on it. Uh, all right. Next up, this says Kitten Academy Endowments on the outside, so that's nice to know exactly what to do with it. Oh, and aren't these fun? Hexbug Mouse Robotic Pet Toy. Very cool. I think that, um, let's see, we've seen almost all their toys, and I know we've seen this as part of a bigger set. I just wanted to see which mouse it is. Actually, it looks like a slightly new design. Maybe it stays upright a little bit better. Uh, but it is the one that's sort of the uh, bristle bot, is what the generic term for that is. It's got these little legs on the bottom that just, uh, uh, just vibrates, and that makes it go forward because of the shape of the legs. So these are really fun, uh, just like the Hexbug Nano that you might be familiar with. This is basically a Hexbug Nano, but with a mouse on top. And it looks like you've sent one for endowments for each kitten. That's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and seven. Oh, there's more notes. There we go. I didn't see that there were more notes. So the notes here say, Hexbug Mouse used the magic cat track. Oh, Utensils, nibbles, two more from Lisa for kittens. There we go. Now, wait a minute. Is this one that I gave credit to Mishi for? No, it's not. Okay, good. Uh, I was confused there for a second. Okay, Lisa for kittens. Oh, and one more. So how many does that make total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, and you will say Hexbug Mouse to use with the Magic Cat Track. All right, uh, utensils plus nibbles plus two more. I can guess who two more might be. That would work out. Uh, I think all these notes say the same thing then. All right, indeed they do. So, all right, uh, thank you so much, Lisa Four Kittens. And I guess there's going to be more to come from you, and we will, well, we'll figure that out in due time, won't we? I still smell something kind of poopy, and I don't know if that means that Wellington is back, or if he got poop on me, or I don't see him. I don't know if he found his way back from the litter box. He does often get poop on him still when he is using the litter box. So I wouldn't surprise me in the least bit if he's tracking it everywhere right now. I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. Um, just like uh, uh, last... Oh, there he is. I see him coming from the kitchen. Wellingtons, come here. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here. Let me check you out. Um... Uh, Serenity, you know, has learned to let herself out of her room, and so it's just impossible to keep her in there. Um, and then at night, uh, yeah, you are kind of a mess. Hang on, i got to get some more wipes. Uh, at night, um, Loganberry is typically out and around. Oh, where are the wipes? I must have already gotten them. Where did they just go? Come on now. Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh... At night, Loganberry's typically out because he bangs on the door when he's not out, and having that banging on the door all night long is obviously kind of disruptive, so he usually gets his way, uh, and then he ends up locked up in the morning like he is right now. That's why Custard is here. Uh, anyway, my point being that the combination of those things um, and uh, Loganberry's tendency to pee on a beanbag chair whenever he sees one means inevitably uh, I knew that last night uh, Serenity would open her door and go out, and she did. She snuggled with DJ all night. She's a big snuggler. Um, and Loganberry would, at some point, find his way in there and pee on her beanbag chair, and he did. Uh, fortunately, I had predicted all of that, and uh, there was a waterproof blanket on there, and I just switched it out in the morning, and everything was fine. Um, which I guess I was just trying to use as an analogy for knowing this guy was going to drag poop everywhere. I don't know. If there's one thing that is predictable at a kitten academy, it's that these cats are going to make some serious messes, especially at this age. All right, uh, this box says it is from Cat Lover New York. All right, uh, let's see, did I open this the right way? Oh, I guess I did. I sliced into uh, the knife guard 
written in big letters, and I can see why it's here, because otherwise, the re- oh, oh no, it looks like I did slice into the, what it was meant to protect a little bit, too. Don't worry, not in any way that matters. Uh, the knife guard, look at that, that's a serious one. It almost got me there, too. Look at that, Wellington is on this bed, uh, it's probably just off camera. He's scratching all over this bed and walking and scratching with every step. Oh, now he moved. Oh, wow. All right. Well, it was on the ceiling camera. You could probably see it. It was very cute. Uh, let me see where this floor camera can see real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, where is the... Where's my camera controls at? There we go. There we go. All right. Well, now, if he does it again, we'll be able to see it. It was very cute. Okay, we also have the note. And the note says... Doo, doo, doo. Ooh, graph paper. Uh, June 12th. Dear Mr. A, I'm thrilled you were using the puppy pads I sent a while back. Here are some more diapers for your floor. So funny. Uh, thanks. I kind of like that phrase when I said it. I was like, that's not bad. Diapers for your floor. Uh, these have many uses. The suggestion is to use them in the cat carriers when the kitties go to the vet or anywhere else. You never know when a kitty may get car sick. I'm so happy to contribute to KA. All your kitties are gorgeous and so much fun to watch on the live stream and videos. They brighten my day. All the best, Cat Lover. All right. Well, Cat Lover, thank you so much. I tell you, those puppy pads, uh, like I said, they've been sitting in the, the annex closet for quite a while. Um, and uh, uh, finally, I found the perfect application for them, which is, again, uh, knowing these, the Wellington and Squall have just been through a period of pooping in the corner of the bedroom pretty reliably. And I put a litter box there for a minute, but it's just annoying to have the litter box there. Plus, I want them to stop doing it. Um, but uh, if I take the litter box away, then they just use the corner. And I found these puppy pads are perfect for it, especially when they pee. And I'm amazed at how absorbent they are. Uh, it truly is like a diaper for your floor. So uh, I just toss one of those in the corner. And um, then a little bit later, I find that it's got a spot of pee on it. And I pick it up and throw it away and put it on a new one. Uh, they're, they're perfect. It's really perfect. So thank you for sending the extras. I'm sure this will last us just as long as the first set now that these guys are mostly over it. Uh, fingers crossed it stays that way. All right, uh, well, let's see. Somebody is super growly. It's probably Raindrop. Oh, it is Raindrop playing with the tail on the wall. She's gra- She likes to grab toys and growl uh, at them and about them. And she's doing that with the big tail toy that's sitting on the wall. And she's Velcroed on the wall right now, trying to take it away. She does that with the little fur toys around the house, but uh, she's not the only one. This morning, Bud was doing the growl um, for one of his springs, just a regular old plastic spring, but he is very excited about it on the bed, walking around at the spring and just growling. Nobody was trying to take it from him, but it was adorable. I don't know where he is. Did he even make it down here this morning? I think he did. Oh, he's right here next to me. Hi, Bud. You're right there. I was just talking about you and saying how much you like the springs. I don't see a spring here, though. You know something else to play with? Boy, I just, I just smell that poop from uh, Wellington's. He's probably still leaky wherever he is. That's fine, though. You know, at a certain point, you're just like, well, we'll clean it all up at once. <laughs> all right. This says it is from the tiny plants. All right. Super fun. Ah, something bulky in here. Open after the card, a.k.a. the note. Okay. And it says, okay to read on stream, the note. Perfect. Uh, We nominate you for Father of the Year. How cute. Yay, you win. We're the voters. (laughs) That's cute. Hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty. Long time no hear from the tiny plants we know. We keep asking Mom to type up a letter for us, but then we go and do something cute, and either out comes the camera or the spoogling commences, and she totally forgets about everything else. We're doing great, as you probably have seen on Discord or our Instagram. We've been watching the KA stream on the TV in our room or on the TV in the living room with the humans. You've been having a very poopy month or so, Mr. A, and the way you handle it with patience and humor definitely earns you Father of the Year. Dad doesn't mind not winning. He agrees. You are awesome. The humans saw the enclosed project on a 3D printing channel they watched and knew they had to make you one for your office. We're betting the counterpart is pretty accurate. 
The humans are excited for the upcoming KA Con and look forward to chatting with you again. Give Dr. DJ Spoogles from us, head bonks to Eddie, Logan, and Custard. A respectful bow to Queen Magnolia and gosh darn it, Pet Ari, please. Please give nose boops to Nibbles, Teaspoon, and Spatula, Puddles, Brawly, Bud, Raindrop, Sprout, and Drizzle, Miss Serenity, and Welly, and Squall. Wow, that's a lot of kittens. Spoogles and head bonks, Fern, Thistle, and Moss. That's so sweet. All right, well, this must be something 3D printed then, I assume. Let's find out what we got. Okay, it is, ah, this, <laughs> it says, it's been zero days without a dad joke, and uh, the zero is the only number that we've been, oh, uh, one, I see, that's cute. You can have zero days or one day, and it just we just assume that we won't need any numbers bigger than that. Uh, that's pretty cute, zero days uh, without a dad joke. Well, I think it has been zero days, probably, depending on exactly how you count. That is really, really cute, and what a your 3D printer is pretty well adjusted, isn't it? Uh, I haven't I haven't been worked with mine in, in quite some time. It's all these projects. I I keep seeing things around the house, even things that I bought recently. You know that are not as complicated as a 3D printer. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example, and nothing's coming to mind. But I just see things around the house, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember when I thought that I had time to do stuff like six weeks ago. <laughs> it wasn't even that long ago, but it seems like a distant memory. Uh, the 3D printer, of course, has been on hold for years. Uh, hasn't hasn't been to the top of the let's get this done pile, um, but. Uh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. That is really cool, and I love it. And the colors are fantastic. And uh, yeah, you're, you're zero and one, probably the only numbers we need. Uh, thank you very much for that. Okay. Uh, all right, next up. Well, it says it's from Mags97 on the outside. And on the inside, ooh, I see a paper and a note. That's a good start. Come explore the new variety store. Ooh. Uh, all right. Congratulations, Rudy. Oh, well, congratulations, Rudy, from the Coastland Times. Uh, and we also have the o Okra Coke Absorber. Okra Coke. Okra Coke NC. Wow. I, is that how you say that? That is the weirdest name for a town. I've never heard of that. Uh, and they have a light station. It's not a lighthouse, apparently. It's a light station. Uh, very cool. Okay. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, my family recently visited the Outer Banks of North Carolina on uh, for vacation. I've enclosed some local newspapers from our trip for your reading enjoyment. The island we visited in the Outer Banks is Ocracoke, pronounced like the vegetable and the diet beverage that shall not be named until sponsorship ensues. Uh, perfect, I did get it right. Then on the island there is a TNR Cat Rescue. The cats are part of the island's charm and we look forward to seeing them when we visit. Local lore has it that these cats are descendants of the mouser cats aboard the pirate ships that used to sail along the Outer Banks. Whether it's twice, uh, whether it's true or not, it's fun to think the pirate cat descendants still roam the island. Wishing you a wonderful week, Mags97. Well, Mags97, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to reading this, and that sounds so cool. I've heard of, like, you know, there's that uh, famous, what is it, Japanese cat island um, that you see all the pictures of online, and I've always thought it would be cool to visit someplace like that, but Japan is so far away. Uh, I wonder if Ocracoke would be a place that I could visit and see uh, that. How cute. I hope you had fun while you were there, and thank you so much for thinking of me and bringing back some papers. That, those will be super fun to check out. All right, where to go next? Well, this does say box one of two on it, so that doesn't seem like a bad spot to go next. Let's see. Uh, okay, box one of two. Big letters right there. Where did we just put our knife? There it is. Raindrop is uh, convinced that she can find a way to get that tail off of there. I don't think she can, though. Wow, all right, we got some fun stuff in here. And the note, and the note says, oh, it's so cute, it's a pile of kittens on top of their mom. She's looking like she's putting up with a lot. 
that says, Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ and all the kitties at KA. It certainly has been a busy time at KA this spring and early summer. I hope that all is starting to settle down a little. The items that are not marked, please use as you see fit. In just a month, KACON 2023 is here. Can't wait to see everyone again. Give all the kitties a hug from us. Much love, Bob and Ruth. All right, Bob and Ruth, thank you so much. And let's take a look and see uh, what you've sent and maybe what is and isn't marked. So here we have, uh, let's see, a pet filters uh, for a water dispenser. And the water dispenser itself is here. How cute. Uh, it looks like it's a, a, just a fancy version of the ones that we have used, but this one may be uh, is it look? Is it actually stainless steel, or does it just look that way? Because that's nice. Um, I don't see anything. Oh, it does say stainless steel. Oh my goodness, that is super cool. I like that. Uh, I always love that. And so uh, I wonder if it's the same size filters that we use too, because that would be even nicer to just to have one thing that we could use in both places. To my eye, they look about the same, but I guess we'll have to check it out and see. How cool. All right, so that says KA Classroom. There's another one here, too, that also says KA Classroom. Oh, wow, those are beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm excited to check that out. Okay, uh, you've also sent these really cute blankets that say Heart Patch Solid Blanket, and that's exactly what it is. It's a soft blanket, and it's got a little patch on it that is a heart, and it's got these beautiful sequins around the heart. There you can see that in the corner. Very shiny. Uh, and this one says it is for Squall, and there's a matching one here, of course, for Welly, also with a cute little heart outlined in gold. That's beautiful. Uh, we have a tunnel, a very colorful uh, tunnel. I can see all the rainbow colors in there. I think all the rainbow colors, anyway. Yeah, I don't think it exactly comes out in a rainbow, though, does it? Let's find out. It is, uh, after all, I believe it's Pride Month, so it would be appropriate if we had a little rainbow. I like rainbows all the time anyway, though. I think you all know that. Uh, well, not exactly, but uh, it's got most of the same colors anyway. That's cute. We're just going to leave that right out there. It's a cute little tunnel. I like the fact that it's curved and that it has the holes in the side. It's a lot like the big tunnel that they have upstairs, but a smaller version. It's a little bit more interesting. Um, also a little smaller, so perfect for kittens. Custard, I don't think you're really going to fit in there. Okay, uh, here we have a bag of toys for wellies, which includes all the usuals and even a fur ball. Perfect. And there's also a matching one here, of course, for Squall. Wouldn't be right if they didn't get the same. Uh, you don't want them to get jealous of each other. And then we have a bigger bag for Serenity that has a wand and some uh, silver vine and stuff in it as well. And finally... Uh, it looks like a bag of coffee for me, Kitty Town Coffee, the original Sydney Light, Nutty, Sweet. Well, I know some kittens that are light, nutty, and sweet, so uh, perfect. Every bag feeds a homeless kitty. Aw, that's sweet. So that's uh, Kitty Town Coffee. I'm excited to try it out. Thank you very much for all of that. We're going to use... Uh, oh, boy. That was Drizzle coming down off that wall with a thump. Uh, we're going to use this box here to put some of this stuff that's piling up into. Move it right back here. There we go. Slide that over there. Oh, wow. Custard does fit, and he looks so funny with his face in that window that you just barely can't see, I bet. I want to get a picture of it, though, for you. And uh, Custard, don't go anywhere yet, buddy. Don't move. Don't move, Custard. Okay. That's, <laughs> he looks so funny with his face sticking out that little tiny window. Hi, Custard Budo. Hi, buddy. What do you got? Oh, okay. Stick your whole head out. Can you guys see that? I think you can. His tail is actually sticking out. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's difficult to work in a tunnel that size, isn't it, buddy? Fun, though. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, that was a minute of fun. All right. Oh, you look like you're about to fall asleep right here, bud. Are you? Let's clean you, and uh, you can fall asleep in my lap instead, okay? All right, sit right here. You look like you're about to fall asleep sitting up. Oh, that's a big purr you got, too. Raindrop, you're not going to give up on that tail, are you? Oh, you can move it about an inch. It's on, a, um, it's, that, it's on that post, and there's just a hair tie around the post. So in theory, if Raindrop could move it all the way to the end, it would come off. But I don't think that she knows that. Oh, 
<laughs> Speaking of coming off, <laughs> now she's dangling from it. Uh, oh, wow, pulled herself back up again. That's a strong kitten. All right, I hope that's all on the stream. I think it is. Uh, where's box two of two? Is it this one? This does look like Bob and Ruth handwriting on it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It doesn't say two of two on it, though. Normally it would. I wonder if they sent three boxes labeled uh, one of two, two of two, and uh, not labeled. I don't know. We'll assume this is two of two until further notice. Oh, it does say two of two on the UPS label. All right, that works. Ooh, uh, all right. This is some nice stuff, too. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, I see right on the top we have a feeding mat that's got little uh, spots in it that are labeled for water and food. That's so cute. That will be perfect for some of the kittens. Um, that's, uh, that's really pretty, and I love the fact that it's labeled. And, of course, um, I think that would be a great replacement for the one that's just a rubber mat that's currently in uh, Serenity's room. Uh, or any of the kittens. That's that's really cool. I like it. That's very pretty. Here we have socks that say Awesome Cat Dad with an arrow that's pointing up. Very cute. Uh, and you've addressed those to Mr. A. Here we have a cute little pop-up tent that's the same as... Uh, you guys remember the Nut Hut tent that we had? This is the same shape, but it is not a nut. Actually, it's not the same shape. The, the Nut Hut was four-sided. No, I take it back. This is four-sided. Okay. Just fold it up pretty tight there. So that's very cute. I love it. It's kind of got a confetti thing going on. Uh, very pretty colors. Here we have another tunnel. This one is sort of a, you know, this one's sort of a pinkish color. DJ was just talking to me about using, uh, I don't think she was using pink, though. I think she was talking about more of a salmon-y color. I don't know if that would work or not, but she was just looking for stuff that was that sort of a shade. So I wonder if that'll work for her. I'll have to ask. Uh, here we have chirping mice uh, that are also, they've got some feathers on them and they've got a little loop so you could put them on the end of a wand. We have one for teaspoon, one for serenity, and one for puddles. Very sweet of you. We have a wavy cat scratcher. There we go. I think you can see that. It's a corrugated cardboard cat scratcher with a cool pattern on the side. And I don't think these are labeled, so they're for general use. One with butterflies and one with the little abstract pattern that you saw. All right. I'm going to need to use this box to start to organize stuff. We have a whole set of red and white and yellow uh, receiving blankets that have uh, beautiful little red flowers on them. Are those poppies, I think? Poppies and uh, 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 not, uh, daffodils? I think that's what those are. I'm not a plant expert by any means. This should be obvious. It's very pretty, though. I like those colors. Oh, here we have something all wrapped up that appears to be ceramic. I'm glad that it made it through intact. What is it, though? Good. I am glad that this made it intact. Oh, look at that. It's a little tiny. Oh, this is so cute. This is a set of ceramic measuring spoons that are little tiny kitty heads, smiling little kitties. It's so pretty. I worry about actually using ceramic measuring spoons because I'm sure I would break them. And these are too cute to break. Look how cute they are, especially this little tiny quarter teaspoon. Wow, here's the one that is a teaspoon, of course, and there's the tablespoon bigger one there at the end, but very, very cute. Oh my goodness, those are adorable, and I think then the others might be measuring cups that match. I'm so worried about breaking these. Um, let's see. So on this side, we have... Oh, uh, these are held together with a strange little rubber band. And they do appear to be, yes, they're marked. Um, and I'm not going to take them all apart because I wouldn't be able to put them back together very easily right now. But can I get the top one off? There we go. It's kind of stuck on. So here you can see they are, uh, it's a set of measuring cups stacked up. This is the smallest one, which is a quarter cup uh, with a little cat head on it. And again, beautiful little ceramic measuring cups. I love it. Those are so pretty and so cool. Uh, thank you for sending those. They're, they're really, really cool. Again, I don't know if I'll have the courage to use them, but I guess, well, I don't know. We'll see. 
Um, you know, you don't expect anything to last forever, and we could enjoy them quite a bit if we did put them out and use them in the meanwhile. Um, or we could just sort of keep them because they're just adorable. Those measuring spoons are too much. I'm trying to stack them together. Okay, I'm not going to stack them together. I'm just going to set them right there. Okay. And then we have a... Oh, we have the laser. This is, says laser teaser toy, but it looks identical to the really good one that we had that's called Polaris. But this seems like it's either a knockoff of the Polaris or vice versa, for all I know. Um, it does look I, almost identical, actually. It's got a very slightly different shape just to set it off, I guess. Uh, what I'll mostly be interested to see is if I put some batteries in it, whether it's as fast as the Polaris. It says KA on it. There you go. Um, whether it's as fast as the Polaris, because that's the thing I like about it. And also, um, we gave away the original Polaris to the mom cat that loved it so much. And then I bought a replacement, and the replacement's not as bright as I remember the original one being. So maybe this will hit that spot of being fast and bright, and uh, all the kittens will play with it again. We'll see. Uh, finally, we have a cat scratcher tower, a uh, little kitten-sized cat scratcher tower with a, more of a corduroy feel to it. I like that. Uh, thank you so much for everything. I guess uh, we'll fill your box with the sort of generic endowment stuff, because there's so much of it. And then we'll get that all sorted out in due time. We go, the socks go upstairs, not downstairs. So I'm just going to put that in there. Okay, just trying to get some stuff kind of sorted and out of the way here since there is a lot of it. Um, let's see, these are endowments. This is stuff to go upstairs. Hang on. Hang on one sec. We're not going to cut in too much to the mailbag here, but I want to want to make some space. Okay, and this all has to go into a specific endowment box, except for, yeah, well... Did, did, she tell, she should, did somebody walk away with the other one of these? Did Maggie take it while I wasn't looking? I bet she did. It'll turn up. Okay, that's fine. We'll put it over there for now. Okay. Hi. You sit over here. I'm going to put these also in that box. Uh, even though I want to put them out right away. That's fine. We're still going to put them over here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. There we go. Because we need, we need some room. We can make that work for us. Maybe. All right. Now this box is already overflowing. Okay. Uh, well, let's see what we can open next. Maybe we can make some more room. What do we have right here? Uh, I'm going to set this... Up. Well, I, w I want to set it there, but you can see these kids maybe playing. Now they've discovered the Jackson Galaxy Space Station, which I think is now a limited edition uh, vintage item that, that can no longer be purchased. But cats love it. I don't know why it didn't really take off. I guess because it was a space station, not a spaceship, huh? Uh, look at this. This has got all these stickers on it. It's got a whole bunch of cat stickers on it. It says, it's a cat thing. Here, kitty, kitty. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just, I laughed at that because uh, DJ and I have been watching uh, the show on TV. It's a reality show, and like reality shows, uh, um, it can be a lot of drama and a lot of nonsense. Uh, but there's one point where one of the people on it is talking to one of the others, and it was just a, just a moment that was fun and uh, kind of innocent. And she's telling, uh, the, the, the one girl's telling the other girl a joke. She says, uh, how do you... And the girl says, how? I don't, you know, and she goes, uh, here, kitty, kitty. And I can't, and you can't do this joke without somebody else because you've got to get the right timing on it. Um, but uh, so she says, how do you call a cat? And the other girl says, how? And she goes, uh, here, kitty, kitty. And she says, how do you call a deaf cat? And the other girl goes, how? And she goes, here, kitty, kitty! Uh, which I think is hilarious um, if you can deliver it correctly. Um, but obviously, you can't do it alone. You need, you need a, a straight guy to make that work. Uh, here we go. Look at that. We've got this huge knife guard. Uh, much cuter knife guard than my last one, courtesy of Chewy. <laughs> all right. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, the note. Perfect. And we got some papers in here, too. That's going to be exciting. Uh, from Montrose. Wow. Dear Mr. A, so glad to be sending kitten carrots now that the stormy seas of sads have seemingly subsided. Wow, nice alliteration. 
I truly do not know how you managed it all, and still we're worried about how we, the KA community, were feeling. Please know that you, uh, I don't know if I read that right at all. Okay, I uh, truly do not know how you managed it all, and still we're worried about how we, the KA community, were feeling. Please know that you weren't just helping the Academy kittens, but also our kitties. You helped me deal with integrating two new, uh, two new rescue cats into our house with the accompanying vet visits, medicine, administration, and poop explosions. So, now it's time for happy things. Besides the giant carrots for the kitten endowments, I've enclosed some things for you and DJ. The brown box contains a memento of sweet teaspoon that I found in Ocean Springs, Mississippi for either DJ or T's future adooter, however she sees fit. The socks are for you and the drying mat could be either for drying dishes or wet kittens. There's, excuse me, there's a cake from Grand Cayman. Really? As well as a couple of their local newspapers, be sure to read about Miss Cayman as well as their crazy traffic situation. Miss Cayman. Wow, okay, that sounds fun. DJ was just reading about a local, I think it was a strawberry festival, where they, the, the uh, advertisement that she was reading said that they have Miss Honeybee, and she wanted to know if that was a person or uh, like a queen bee, uh, which I thought was a good question, actually. So, uh, be sure to read about Miss Cayman as well as their crazy traffic situation. That does sound fascinating. The cookies are local here and great because they aren't super sweet but are a good crunch. And I have no words for the cake bites. Uh, it won't hurt my feelings if you don't actually eat it. Uh, I don't know why I wouldn't eat something called cake bites. I think I would. Anyway, here's to happy times at the Academy again. And please kiss each kitten for me. With much love from Robin, Thomas, Max, Lily, Trixie, and Baby Minx, a.k.a. the Carrot Palooza Gang. I love it. I'm going to put your note in here with the papers so they stay together and I can enjoy that all together. Uh, all right, let's see. So you described a whole bunch of stuff uh, from Carrot Palooza folks. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a brown paper bag containing uh, some really cute tissue paper with little baby animals on it. And, and what's inside? Nutrition facts are inside. Cookies by Donna, the rosemary butter cookie. Wow, that sounds... You know, I wouldn't have thought a rosemary butter cookie sounded good, but ever since um, uh, Ruth and Bob introduced us to those lemon lavender cookies, I think I'm willing to try any kind of, like... Uh, herby, uh, uh, strange cookie, because those things are the bomb. So, awesome. Oh, Tortuga Caribbean Rum Cake. Wow, all right. That does sound good. Golden Original, A Taste of the Islands. Fantastic. And to top it off, I see Star Wars Mandalorian. I see now why you were saying this. They are Grogu Cakes, uh, Grogu Cake Bites. And they appear to be green, like Grogu, and they have his little face on there, and that's so cute. I think I mentioned that the first time I tried to watch The Mandalorian, I kind of liked it, but I didn't really get into it, which is surprising to me, because since then, uh, I've discovered, first off, I've discovered Pedro Pascal as an actor, and I just love him. He's just so, uh, what, I don't know what word I'm looking for, charming? Uh, in all of his roles, and it's, it's almost a shame to have him be The Mandalorian, because you never get to see his face, and you never get to see him acting uh, as such. Um, but still, it's, uh, it, that is uh, still a point in its favor. But also, I've been watching it now, finally, and I really have gotten into it. I've just about finished the first season, and uh, it, it's, it's great. I don't know. I think the reason I didn't like it the first time is because I didn't get it. I didn't get that it's, it's just a Western. It's like a classic Western type of story. Uh, and uh, with, the, with the Mandalorian, of course, um, uh, now I think I do get it a little bit more, and uh, I'm, I'm totally into it. I can't wait to see what happens. No spoilers. In fact, uh, so far in what I've watched, they haven't even told us that the, the, the child's name is Grogu, but I know, that's, I know that's it because that came out some time ago for everybody. So anyway, I'll eat those cake bites. I will eat them, uh, although I wonder if they've been around for a while. <laughs> that's something I should check, shouldn't I? 
No, we're still good. Okay, well within the use by date. Okay, perfect. Sometimes you get stuff like that that's, you know, uh, it's, been, it's been sitting around for uh, some time. Okay, here we have, oh, uh, aren't these cute? These are carrots for each of them, but not just carrots. You've, again, labeled them and put a little wooden, uh, not wooden, felted carrot on each one. Uh, oh, and this says puddles, and then in the back, with much love from the Carrot Palooza gang. And there's one of those for each kitten, exactly the same. We have one for puddles and raindrop, and uh, this one is for bud. Perfect. I'm going to set these out for a minute. Uh, underneath that is a box. I think you did mention a box. What did you say was in it, though? Uh, let's see if we can find out. Hi, that must be Bud, right? He's the one that always climbs my shoulder. It is, in fact, Bud. Hi, buddy. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. It is, I, I guess, uh, I, now I have to go back to your note. You said, uh, let's see. A memento of sweet teaspoon that I found in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, which I assume is what this is. And it does look exactly like little teaspoon, with even with the blue eyes. How did you find that? It's beautiful. Uh, and uh, speaking of, I don't know if Sarah Donner ever watches our mailbag, but she did send in that beautiful painting that she did of teaspoon. And uh, I've hung it in our uh, hallway upstairs now. It's so cute. Uh, here we have Coastal Magpie, uh, this, I guess where this came from, Antique Gallery and Gifts. So sweet. Well, thank you so much. I love it, and I think DJ will love it too. We'll, uh, like you suggested, we'll let her decide what gets done with that. It's even got almost a teaspoon on the top. Not quite, more of like a baby Loganberry, I think. Uh, okay, so for now I'm going to put that right over here, and... We have a drying mat, just like you said. It's beautiful, and uh, it's got little kitties on it, little black and white kitties all over it. And DJ does like to have a drying mat next to the sink, and we've got a pile of them um, that uh, I don't know if we have any that are actually cat-themed, though. This might be the first one. No, you know what? We've got one that's got the permades on it, uh, at least. But uh, yeah, that's super cute. That, I think that'll definitely fit in uh, here. Now let's see, are all the rest of these the rest of the carrots? That's definitely more carrots. This is definitely more carrots, but what is this? Oh, that's right, you said socks. Oh, and look how cool they are. Uh, they're little cool kitties wearing sunglasses and with very serious expressions. Yeah, let's show it that way so they're not upside down. Those are awesome, thank you so much. Let's see, uh, I'm putting that stuff here. Okay, put, that means this goes there and this goes there as well. All right, right there. Hi. Hey, pal. Well, thank you so much. And now I can put your carrots in here, and maybe some of the other endowments will fit in the space that we freed up in here. Wow, I cannot wait for those cookies. Those, those look really good. Uh, let's see. Okay. I still think we're going to need another box to fit these things into completely, but this is a good start. Wait, this is the note. That should not be in that pile. Okay. Oh, 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 bit of a stretch. My Grogu cakes. Oh. All right, the rest of that I'll have to get in a minute. It's just out of reach there. Oh, hey, is that the other one? I think it is. Perfection. I got to stretch out this leg now. Uh, getting too old for this. There we go. Okay. Uh. Well, oh, what is this from Canada? All right, well, this has come some distance to see us. Let's find out. Uh, which one? Oh, you're Raindrop, and you're trying to get into Squall's toys? How rude. You find your own toys, Raindrop. You don't have enough? I think you do have enough. We should get, uh, how come Serenity hasn't come down here? I know she comes down here on her own sometimes. She just does whatever she wants. She's, like I said, smart enough to open her door, so she can't be contained. She does anything she likes. There's a nice knife guard. Wow, so many knife guards. You guys just don't trust me with a knife, do you? That's fine. Uh, I think that's the right call. <laughs> I wouldn't trust me with anything, to be honest. Okay, well, we have a whole bag of delectable squeeze-ups. I don't know if there's a note here. Let's, let's pull stuff out until we find one. Extra kitten toys. Wow, this is a whole bunch of little tiny bags of presumably some catnip and some batting in there. Batting in and out. Uh, 
Well, there's a receipt. I don't need to look at that. Let's see. What are these? I don't see a note anywhere, though. Maybe, uh, hmm. You know, I thought I saw two packages from Canada. Maybe the note's in the other one. We'll have to take a look for that possibility. Maybe it will explain what and why. Aw. Aw, look at this little guy. Girl, it says, I love cats. Uh, and it's holding a little sign that says, I love cats. It's got a little cat peeking out over it. That's adorable. Uh, precious moments. I love cats. Well, that's beautiful. I'm going to put it back in here so nobody knocks it over. There we go. Wow, it's a real ceramics day here, isn't it? Okay, hang on. This might be more because it sure looks like it's been packaged the same way. Let's find out. Well, technically it is more ceramics. Uh, a little bit more of a practical use to this one, though. It is a coffee cup, and the handle is a cat holding up the mug, and then it's got this wonderful artwork of black cats and stars on it, little golden stars. It's so pretty. It says black cat ceramic mug. Well, that's exactly what it is. Huh, paper destiny. That's really pretty. Wow. It does say hand wash only. That reminds me of that Mitch Hedberg joke. Uh, it's a, uh, to, to paraphrase, uh, it says hand wash only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> uh, look at that. That's so cute. Look at him holding that or standing up and playing with it like a cat would. That's, uh, that's so pretty. I love it. Well, um, thank you. Um, I guess in advance of figuring out who and what and why, I assume thank you. For all I know, we're about to open a note that says this goes to uh, some cat or adopter. Let's see. Let's see if we can find that other box from Canada, if they really do go together. Here we go. Uh, 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 that's a stretch. Okay. Got it. All right. I think it's this one under here. Right here. I see a customs form. Okay. Hang on now. Look out there, spatula. Okay. Now I lost my knife. Oh, isn't that always the way? Wow. I'm really, I'm going to have to go to the backup knife, aren't I? Oh, there it is. Okay. Good. We got it. Almost out of time. How many boxes do we have left? Do we need to push these till tomorrow? Are they all drop shipments, though? All except for one? Hmm, I'm tempted to just say, let's go through. Uh, let's see, let's see how much we go through here. All right, another knife guard, the same kind too. All right, can read on air. Well, that's perfect, I appreciate that. And I'm glad we have a note and it says, good morning, K.A. It's been a while since we've sent anything to the Academy. Thank you for everything you and DJ do for the mom, cats and kittens. In box one, uh, which must be this one, there are homemade carrier blankets and homemade toys for all the mom, cats, kittens, and Serenity. There are also carrier blankets for KA. The receiving blankets are as you see fit. Uh, there, oh, well, okay, hang on. So you sent, I see there's tissue paper. Um, there are, I see, for, so for puddles, oh, look how pretty that is. For puddles, we have the same little toys that you just saw a bag of here. And then this beautiful blanket that's got clouds and bears, and on the inside it's got uh, black, and you've used a very fancy stitch on your sewing machine to do the edges, uh, which I like. That's a, very, that's a very cool stitch. Wow. I don't know what you would call that, but they look like a bunch of little tiny ties or something all the way around. Uh, with the, the white stand that really stands out. That's, that's such so cool. Okay. Uh, we have one for nibbles. And you've done the same kind of thing here with purple and a beautiful flower print. Uh, Brawly has uh, black with little kitty cartoons and little flower pails, kitties and flower pails. So cute. Uh, Squall, we have a gray inside and these rainbow unicorns. I love it. Uh, that's, that's awesome right there. All with that really fancy stitch. I like that. Um, here's one for Wellingtons that has cows jumping over the moon and a gray color on the inside. Drizzle has black on the inside and a salmon-colored uh, flower floral print there. Very pretty. T 
teaspoon has this black uh, with purple on the inside, but black uh, cartoon kitties. Uh, I don't know how else to describe them. That's just this cartoon kitties and little balls of yarn and some flowers and things. They're very cute. With the purple there for teaspoon. Spork has the same purple inside and on the outside, uh, like a block print kitties with a uh, very smug looking little cute faces on them. There we go. Spatula has rainbows and purple on the inside. There we go. Bud has uh, black on the inside and more kitties in pails. Uh, it might be the same print there, little teal kitties in pails. Very pretty. Goblet has uh, different cartoon kitties uh, rolling around and playing with each other and some butterflies uh, for Goblet. Butterflies and cartoon kitties and a little purple print. Wow, this is uh, full of... Uh, we have a lot of kitties here, don't we? Ramekin has uh, mice and yarn uh, with the purple interior. Mice and yarn. No kitties on it at all as far as I can see, just the mice and yarn. Uh, we have, oh, the extra blankets here, one with the fox. We have the kitties with the um, butterflies. We have the block print smug looking kitties. Um, oh, and another different kitties with butterflies and flowers. Uh, very cute. Uh, let's see, that's for us, so I'm going to put it over here right away. Raindrop has a different kind of floral print with a black inside. There you go. Sprout. Whoop, whoop. Wow, well, there are a lot of cats here, aren't there? Sprout has little foxes and squirrels, and the squirrel's standing on some flowers. Very talented. And then, I think the last one, Serenity, has a, not quite rainbow print, I don't know what you call that, but uh, very colorful stripes. Fruit stripe gum, that's what we're going to call it, Serenity, uh, with the gray inside. Then we've also got some receiving blankets that are clouds, dogs, and uh, I don't know what that is. It's not a dog, a bear? Could be. Uh, oh, and a mouse. Okay, random animals uh, on the receiving blankets. We have another set that's beautiful teal color. Uh, same print, though. That's interesting. Same print, but in a different color. And same print, but in yet another color. Huh, that's pretty cool. So uh, three sets of identical blankets in three different colors. And then we have uh, these really fuzzy fleece baby blankets, dinosaurs. Ooh, dinosaurs on one and animals on the other. And then you did say, um, where did your note go? I, I saw uh, you said you couldn't resist. Here it is. Where did it go? Uh, there, okay, uh, the receiving blankets are as you see fit. There's also two magnets for you. That's this, you and me and the cat cute magnet, and meow, and these are ceramic magnets again, we have more ceramics, uh, hmm. ceramics day here, so this one says uh, meow, and this says you and me and the cat, I'll put those right over here with all the other ceramics, in uh, the two pineapples were novel items I could not resist picking up, all right, well this has a power switch on it, it's a little tiny uh, pineapple, I like the shape of it, it's extra round, um, let's see, will it turn on if I turn, ooh, Oh, that's one bright pineapple. All right, there we go. Well, that's a little tiny pineapple nightlight. And uh, that's super cute. And, oh, the other one is a pineapple juice box. Uh, there we go with a, with a bendy straw. That is that's very cute. I love it. We'll add that to our collection. All right. Then you say in box two, which I think we opened first, there's a bag of treats to use as you see fit. A bag of extra kitten toys for future endowments. That's this. A novel cup for Mr. A and a figurine for DJ. Aw, lady had got these two back when you were still in Illinois. She'd misplaced and then found them recently from KA fans Lord and Lady Cuthbertson. Well, thank you so much, Lord and Lady. Uh, that is some really cool stuff. I love it all. Thank you. Um, and I love all the, especially love all the, uh, the bags for each, each little kitten to take home with them. <laughs> Brawley's trying to take these receiving blankets right now. She's yanking on this, uh, this plastic hanger that's sticking out the top of it. Okay, uh, I don't have room for those in that box now, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But let's, uh, let's open this last, okay, let's just put this out of the way. Push this over the side. These, I think we should put back in here and call it the endowment box. There we go. Okay, just toss those right in. Uh, Custer, you don't need to get in there with them. 
Okay, push this off to the side for just a minute. Now, I know we are over the one hour, but if we open this one box, then we just have four more that are drop shipments that usually go pretty quickly. So I think we can get through this. Let's try it and see. I'll try not to take too much extra time talking about random garbage uh, like I tend to do. All right, this one has a note right at the top. Tiny little sweet brawly. Hi. You want to get back in my lap? I got to check your, your backside first. Okay. I think you're, you're mostly clear. Okay. You look like you're clear. Clear enough anyway. I'm used to having some poop. All right. The note. Ooh. It's got that, uh, when you roll up little bits of paper, I think it's called quilling. Uh, and it appears to be... Oh, there we go. I had it upside down. It's a cat on a table looking down at a vase that is just knocked off and the vase is broken. And like I said, it's done with, uh, with quilling. And it says, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, students, and discorders. Oh, and mom cats, Serenity. Hi, guys. Um, let's see, I think, oh, there we go. We did lose something here. Uh, oh, wow, thank you very much. That's, a, that's an extremely generous... Uh, donation there. I'm going to put that in our box. Um, uh, I'm going to say we'll, we'll get that cashed in due time. I hope it doesn't take us too long uh, and that, that you plan for that. Uh, so you say, um, hi guys. Friends introduced me to Kitten Academy in 2021, just in time to start watching M M Ru, uh, Mural and Rue, uh, their assorted kids, and of course, Tommy. Yay! I am sending a covering for one of the screaming posts if you want to use it. It will add more room and can accommodate any kitten who might want to torment mom up close and personal when mom thinks she's safe. By the way, it's washable. Now that's an interesting idea. I, I would like to see that. I've actually had an idea for something I want to put on one of those posts, but I started to make it and I realized I need a lot more, uh, I think, colored felt or something. I don't, I don't know what to use. Uh, this doesn't look like that could be what you're talking about. Oh! Oh, yeah, I think I, I have, oh, I haven't seen this one, though. I did not see something like this. I was told that they made something like this. Uh, but the one that I've seen before, I thought was just a piece, a square thing that wasn't nearly this attractive. So this is an accessory for that perch. It's made specifically for the post, and it's got a, a quilted pad on top, and it apparently slides right on top to make a cat perch. How cute. Um... Yeah, oh, that's super nice. Wow. And um, I guess it's got a little piece of uh, Velcro that holds the top on, and it's got, it says somehow that it secures itself to the top. Uh, what a great idea. I will definitely add that to, to one of them. I can't remember which one's in your room. There's one where I, I actually put uh, fabric on the top myself. I took it all apart and put it in real nice. Um, but the other, we've got two more of them that don't have tops, and I know this will fit just fine on the top of, of one of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure the one in her room is the one that does have a fabric top, but uh, I wonder if this would fit over that, too. It doesn't add too much thickness. It'll be interesting to try. Thank you so much for that. Uh, that's super cool. So, um, let's see. Uh, by the way, it's washable. Yes, oh, that's perfect. Okay. The Shimmer, does that say Shimmer is obviously not a kitten toy, but might be fun to add to a future space theme? Oh, wow. I don't know exactly what that means, but, uh, hmm. Is that what this is? Okay, let's see. The marinated mice are for as you see fit. Okay, well, that's this. Uh, we have, is this marinated mice? Oh, there are little mice in there. So this is the... Dr. Pussums, that's the really that's some really good catnip, and it has little mice in it. I don't know if you can see them. I almost didn't see them. Uh, the shimmer, uh, let's see, the marinated mice are free as you see fit. Thank you for Kitten Academy and everything that goes into those two words. Aw. Uh, Kitten Academy is an amazing uh, world. Discord community keeps me endlessly entertained, and I wish all good things for cats, humans, chipmunks, squirrels, and maybe Bob whenever he might appear. From Brenda, 
who is Baby Cakes on Discord. Baby Cakes on Discord. Uh, thank you so much. This is such a, a wonderful everything. And uh, uh, that donation, uh, like I said, extremely generous. Thank you for that. Uh, ooh. Oh, cool. I don't know. I guess I don't know what a shimmer is, but it sounds like something you might hang from, I guess, a window, uh, like, a, like a prism type of a thing. And I love this has, so these, these little glass, um, like, raindrops on the top are, uh, you, I don't know if the camera picks this up, but they do have a sort of a sheen to them, like a sort of an opal, uh, opalescent type of color there. And then at the bottom, we have this absolutely gorgeous, uh, I guess, I wanted to say moon, but it's obviously not the moon because it's got a ring around it. So a planet with a ring, but it does have a face, like the old-timey moons that they would draw with a face on it. And it is, I, I've always loved that motif for some reason. I don't know why. The sun and the moon with the little face on it, and the sun's got the, the, uh, the like, uh, wavy lines, uh, not, not, wavy triangles coming out from it. You know what I'm talking about. So this kind of fits with that, but it is uh, a pl planet with a ring and very sparkly ring at that. It's got a uh, little like rhinestones set into the ring, uh, but the face is the coolest part. I don't again, I don't know how well you can see the face on there. I just love it, and it's three dimensional. And it's made of some kind of like a light blue glass. It is beautiful. Thank you. Um, I don't know whether we'll deploy it as part of a space theme, but uh, I will definitely hang it in my office. It is l beautiful. It's just beautiful. And uh, like I said, I've always had kind of a soft spot for that uh, sort of motif, so that, that'll fit in very well. Okay, um, so uh, Baby Cakes Brenda, thank you so much. Uh, I'm excited to try the post perch too. And this, I guess we put in there, and i got to stretch this leg out one more time, buddy. i got to do it. Okay, I see that the straw from that pineapple has already been taken by spatula. And I have a bud on my shoulder, and I have a little Wellington right here, so we might as well keep going. We've just got the four more dropship packages now to go through. This looks like it's also from uh, Mishi. All right, enjoy your gift. Uh, from uh, presumably Mishi. Ooh, wow, this is all Yao catnip. We have the tubs. Wait, I better check to make sure there's not a different note here. Well, just enjoy your gift, all right? We have the big tubs of Yao catnip. We've got four of those. And then we have a uh, pineapple of Yao catnip. And what is this last one? Uh, crazy mouse uh, in profile. I don't think I've seen this one. This one might be entirely new to me. He does have a crazy look, and it's uh, it's got to be a mouse. It looks like, uh, I guess that's just his teeth. It's just the way his teeth look, and he's got, like, bloodshot eyes, uh, and he looks very crazy. All right, so uh, he's obviously been hanging around the Yao cabinet. Those are so cool. Thank you very much for those. I guess uh, we'll add these to endowments, uh, most likely endowments, since there's four tubs of catnip, unless we end up needing any to put things in. I really appreciate that. Um, you know what, we'll get all this organized and put away afterwards. For now, let me just set it out of this side here. Uh, custard's in a box. Hey, buddy. Oh, aren't you cute? You're getting into everything. Where's my phone? Let's take a picture of that. Let's see if we can take a selfie with Bud before he goes away, too. Custard, are you looking at me? Bud, you, you wanted to have a selfie here, buddy? Oh, no, no, go away. I didn't even get it into selfie mode. Where, what did I hit instead? I hit the wrong thing there. Well, I guess he's still here. Bud, you can't sit there. That part's going to go down. Bud, Bud, you got to go back on the shoulder, pal. Can't sit on my upper arm. That part moves. <laughs> Bud, why? Bud, why? Uh, sit right there. Okay. There, that's better. Can you do that? Can you go back to where you were? You want to try the selfie one more time? Here. Bud. Good enough. All right. Uh, we'll post all those on Discord after. All right. Next up, we have a box that just says Kitten Academy. I'm surprised how much Bud doesn't mind me moving around when he's sitting on my shoulder. Custard. 
turn. That's usually a custard thing riding around all day on my shoulders. Of course, custard needs both shoulders. Wow, <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, we have two very interesting items in here. One says, multifunctional cat wand toy. And it appears to be, it, it's like they've combined, they've mashed up every one of the cat toys. I can see we've got that, um, the bottom part has a ball track and, uh, what do you call it, the one that's got the little like feathers that stick out and then they go back in and they stick out a different hole. Uh, whatever you call that one is in the base. Then uh, it's got a ball tower above that. And then it's got the Polaris above that. And then it's got a wand above that. Wow, it's, uh, it's everything. It's, it's truly an all-in-one. All right, I'll show you there. I, hopefully you can see that okay. And there's also a... It says, Huggy Kitty helps relax and comfort your pet. Soothing purr and heartbeat and a heat pack. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. And it's got a really cute picture of a little Eddie cat snuggled up to it. So there you can see it's got a cute face. And it's, um, uh, let's see, sound device and a heating pad, just like it said. Perfect. Well, that's so sweet. Um, there's nothing in here. Sometimes the, the note gets stuck under, oh, there it is. Sometimes the note gets stuck under the flaps. Well, it just says, oh, here we go. Enjoy your gift. When I saw the high-tech ball track, I thought of Mr. T. The other, I thought, might help the small tinies and other tinies that will come along. Thank you for all you do for cats and kittens from Vicky. Well, Vicky, thank you very much. That's so sweet. You know, Mr. T is a big fan of the ball tracks and ball towers. Those are his favorite toys. That's what he plays with the most. Um, so maybe this one will appeal to him because it's got everything happening. I'll be really curious to see if it all goes at once or if it has some way to like switch off and change what it's doing. Um, very, very interesting. I also see it says rated DC 5 volts. I wonder, does that mean that it's chargeable or you plug it into a USB? Oh, it does have the battery warning, so it must be chargeable. That's even nicer. Uh, I'm excited to check that out for little T and... Uh, this, these guys, I think they're already past needing that, especially since they've been spending nights in with their uh, surrogate mom, Puddles, and she takes such good care of them. Boy, you've got such a dirty face all the time. I know you hate me trying to clean it. Um, so they might not need it this time, but we'll definitely have kittens that need it again. Uh, we'll see. It's super cute. Thank you so much for that. And for now, I'm just going to add it to the pile so I can clean all this up when we're done. There's a giant chewy box here. Look, does it say on the outside anything? No, it just says Kitten Academy. Usually they don't say anything on the inside either. Ugh. That is a big box. Oh, wow, it's got a beautiful colored marshmallow bed in it. Uh, and I think that is, that's all it's got in it. It's just one giant, beautiful, sort of, uh, it's not quite salmon. It's somewhere in between salmon and lavender. Yeah, maybe just straight lavender. I don't know how well my eyes are working. Maybe. Uh, it's beautiful. It's giant. The kitties will surely love it. Um, but I don't know who sent it or what you'd intended it for. Unless maybe you already told me on Discord and I just haven't looked. Um, so if you haven't, uh, if nobody has taken credit for it, please do let me know um, who sent it and what, what you intend it to be for. Otherwise, it'll just kind of get put into our general use pile. Um, it's, it's really lovely. Marshmallow beds are always a hit. Uh, well, I shouldn't say always. There's, there's actually a fair number of kitties that don't care for them at all, but then uh, there's plenty of kitties that really do. So uh, that should work out. These guys actually have a, marsh a tiny little, that tiny little purple marshmallow bed. It's in the wash right now, uh, but that's been on our bed, and this guy likes to sleep in it. I wonder if he'll continue to like to sleep in them when he gets bigger. I guess we'll find out. You got a chomp just ready to go there. One big old Tommy style preloaded chomp. What do you do if you don't use it? Just go away? <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much to the mystery person who sent the, the mystery marshmallow bed. 
You have one more really strangely packed box from Amazon. It looks like they had to put two boxes together uh, or something. It says, from Rhonda. Okay, Rhonda. Well, at least we know that much. Let's see if there's also a note. If we get this open, let's see how it opens. All right, that works. Well, come on, Amazon. I think you could have fit this in one box. Oh, it's already in one box. Come on, Amazon, why? Uh, let's see, and the one box has a packing label on it. Okay, that really could have been shipped the way it was, but that's fine. Let's see if the note says anything before we find out what's in the inside box. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay, this is perfect. This is a picture frame for the diamond painting I sent a while back. The first frame I ordered got lost. Hope this arrives in one piece. Uh, from Rhonda, thank you so much. Yeah, well, this this should be perfect for that. Let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, that's awesome. That's the one that uh, it was it was rolled up, right? So I um, and I think I put it right here in our cabinet of special things. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, the matting. I don't know if the matting is quite right, but we can change the matting out very easily, and that will fit perfectly. That's a beautiful, uh, nice black frame. It'll go real well with, uh, like, the frame that we've got in there. And I think all of our frames are kind of plain. Uh, that must be the way that people do it now, right? Like, you don't get those weird, like, gilt frames that have, uh, you know, all the scroll work and stuff in them. Everybody just does basic flat black frames, right? I think, I think almost all of our frames are that way. So that's a perfect fit. It'll fit right in, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. Uh, that does bring the, the opening stuff part of Mailbag to a close, but the next part is always me getting up and putting all the stuff away. And then usually I wrap it up by saying thank you again one more time, because uh, I just I really can't say it enough. So uh, I'm going to get started on that. First thing I'm going to do is turn off this microphone, though, then get up and stretch. That way I can get up and walk around and not uh, forget the mic is there and say or do something embarrassing in one of the other rooms. Oh, here we go. You guys want to sit right here and keep my seat warm? There you go. You think about that, okay? Well, when I woke up this morning, uh, Bud spent all night sleeping on DJ's pillow right next to DJ's head. But when I woke up this morning, he was still on her pillow and Serenity was on top of him and just grooming him, just licking and grooming all of his fur. Like, oh man, you got a lot of fur. You're going to need some help with that. Serenity is so sweet to the kittens, isn't she? Just fantastic. I think, I think Raindrop is her best friend, but she gets along so well with almost all of them. And considering how well Serenity gets along with everybody, I was super surprised when Ari wandered into the bedroom and got a hiss from her. I don't know if there's some bad blood between them or she just she doesn't like kids that look like she does or something. Whatever it was, I did not expect it. So Hi. <clears throat> Wellington's, uh, he tries to follow me around, but he often gets distracted. He just ran into the kitchen right at my heels, and then he saw, like, I don't know, oh, he's coming this way now. He does follow me around quite a bit when he can. Let's post those pictures on Discord before I forget. Oh, it looks like somebody took... Uh, credit for the bed, E and E cats. Uh, oh, apparently I have a, uh, a a message on Discord. Maybe I should take a look at that real quick. Hang on. That way, um... here we go. I see. Uh, hi, Mr. A. I just sent a present from Chewy that should arrive before the next mailbag. Long story. Grumpy ordering system. A couple calls to Chewy. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. 
Uh, anyway, I sent a bed that my cat loves. My cat Gemma loves see pictures. Oh, oh wow, Gemma's beautiful. And I see in the background you have a TARDIS. That's pretty cool. Um, best thing is the tent to be machine washed and dried. Gemma leaks whenever she wakes up, so that's a clutch. So that's clutch for me. I, I threw mine into the washer on cold permanent press and low dryer. Came out clean and puffy. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, the small bed is enormous, but it might work for a nest of meowers or faculty mom cats. Gemma's a small cat and it's her favorite. I ordered the rose color for Kaya because I thought it would provide the best kitten contrast on camera. Hope it arrives and works out. If not, sorry, and 100% my fault. Uh, P.S. If you forget about this note and don't know who the bed, bed is from, don't worry about it. I won't be offended. <laughs> I feel really called out by that. Um, no, it's perfect. And like I said, uh, DJ was just looking for something that was sort of a, a pink salmon -y color, and that might be it. I don't know. I'll have to ask her. Uh, to my eye, that looks like a pretty good match, but uh, we'll see. So thank you so much for that. And, uh, yeah, um, the, but those marshmallow beds are fantastic. We've usually got a couple around, like I said. Uh, and that's a great one. Okay, now let me get this stuff put away as best I can. Custer, you're in. Oh, I didn't even post those pictures because I got distracted by that. Let's post those pictures now. Thank you so much, E and E and Cats, by the way. I didn't say. Oh, see that. Okay, it looks like Wellington peed in something. Thanks, everybody. I do see it. It did get peed in. And then we expect that. I guess Wellington doesn't remember when I showed him the litter box. I don't know where he is now. I could show him again. I haven't seen Squall since we started. I hope she found her way upstairs. Pretty sure that basket's been through the wash before, and uh, looks like it will be again. Okay, uh, what to do here? Well, let's see. Let's separate out stuff that goes upstairs from stuff that goes to the kitchen. These cookies go upstairs so I can eat them in bed. Okay, there's your pet. Don't tell anybody. Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah. Okay, this is stuff that's going up, up, up. Okay. This is gonna go up into my office. I think this can go in the kitchen actually. We'll put that up somewhere. Um, the rest of this is gonna have to get sorted differently. No, this is supposed to be this one. Did I miss a card? Did I even open this one? No, I didn't. Oh my goodness, sorry. I, look, hopefully it says again who this one was from. Because uh, I did miss one. It's got Darth Vader, the moment when Dad gives you the look. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, not that I've ever seen it. Happy Father's Day from your 100% non-rebel kid who never causes any trouble ever. That's cute. To Mr. A from Custard. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's very cute. All right. I missed a little something there. Sorry about that. Hey, buddy, let me show you where that uh, litter box is a second time, okay? I know we went over this one time, but we can do it again. Come with me. I know. I know. There it is. Now remember that, okay?
You're groveling already all the way over here? All right, so you're now looking for a place to pee. I guess that's all right. Okay. We need a bigger box for some of this stuff. Custer, you're in the biggest box. Can I use it, buddy? Can I use the big box? Come on, pal. So over here. Oh, well, now I might not need a bigger box. Let's okay, this stuff here. This can go here. Uh, which thing was this? Oh, my, okay. That can go right to the kitchen, I think. Where did I just put that frame? Okay, there it is. Okay, we're put it together with the art right here. Perfection.
keep a box around to make getting rid of this stuff easier. That's all right. Okay. basically sorted all the notes and the papers need to go somewhere all right let's put them over here Nice job, you pee right in the middle of the basket, though. This is all to go upstairs, then.
all over the place. Are you asking me for the chicken right now? Is that what you're asking for? I hope there's food in your room. No oh boy. I gave uh, uh, DJ that box that has the little plate with the teaspoon on it. Um, I gave it to her upstairs. She's she's busy uh, uh, enjoying her day off. But I just gave her the box and I said, you got to take this box uh, and decide uh, if what's in it, if it goes to us or the teaspoon's the doctor. I'm sure you can guess how she responded to that. Oh, you know, I should label these, though, before I forget which ones are general and which ones are specific endowments. Ants? Oh no. We do something about those ants, don't we? All right. Speaking of things, little Wellington made his way all the way upstairs by himself.
you guys all so much for everything. It took me a little bit of extra time to put up all the stuff away. I got distracted talking to DJ for a minute, but uh, there we go. So uh, thank you all to everybody for everything. You're just, you're amazingly generous and the kittens and the adopters. I know the adopters appreciate it. Um, and we appreciate it too. It's just, it's all truly wonderful. So uh, now I'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs. I, whew, okay. Uh, so that is it for the archive.